In this tutorial, we will walk through the dashboard features in LCP Tracker. The first tab that says Projects will display the projects your company is assigned to in LCP Tracker. It will also display the payrolls you've certified on the projects you're assigned to. The next tab is Payroll Records. In this tab, you have the ability to enter payroll information as well as make edits to certified and uncertified payroll records. When I mention uncertified payroll, it means that the payroll has been entered in the system but hasn't been certified by the contractor yet. A report is certified when it has an e-signature signed statement of compliance indicating the payroll is correct and complete and each pay employee has been paid no less than the proper Davis-Bacon prevailing wage for the work performed. The next tab is Notices. This tab will display any notices you may have received when entering your payroll records that the LCP tracker system caught while performing manual validation checks on the payroll. This is also a place to check if there happens to be any notices from the prime or the overhead personnel checking the payroll on the project. If you have received notices, you will need to address the notices before you can certify your payroll records. The next tab is certification. Once you have entered your payroll records for the week and you've checked to ensure that all the notices have been cleared, then you can certify the payroll records through this tab. It is important to ensure that you have set up your e-signature prior to certifying your payroll. Every user will have their own e-signature password and can be easily set up in the Setup tab, so there will never be a need to share passwords. The next tab is Reports. You can view different reports in the system that shows payrolls that have been submitted, any late payrolls, any on-the-job trainees you may have on the project, and hours that are being reported for the trainees. Let's go through some of the reports to explain what they are used for. Late Certified Payroll Report is a summary of how many days a contractor is late submitting payroll. Contractor Assignment Report. It lists all the projects you're assigned to as well as lists the contractors assigned to the project. Certified Payroll Summary Report is a summary of all the, all the certified payrolls that have any rejection notes. And Certified Payroll Report views all the payrolls you've submitted and certified. The next tab is eDocuments. This is the place where you will upload any required documentation on the project like child support orders, court order garnishments, and DOL approved letters for unfunded and self-funded fringe benefit plans. You can also view the documents specific to your own company that have been uploaded to the project as well. There are some templates that are preloaded that you may need for the project. For example, all the projects in LCP Tracker will need to have a contractor fringe benefit statement loaded. Another frequent form that's used is the owner operator affidavit that's available for trucking companies. Other forms that would be included would be the 838 and the 832 used on the job for on the job trainees on the project. The next tab is the setup. In this tab, you have the ability to add or edit employees that will be reported on payroll, edit your login password, and edit or reset your e-signature. If you click on the yellow tab that says training materials located on the top of the middle of the screen, you will be taken to the LCP Tracker customer portal that has several documents, mini guides to do certain functions like how to view and upload e-documents to assist you with your payroll submission and certifying process. If you need additional support, you can always reach out to your regional specialist, or you can reach out to LCP Tracker's support team for more complex issues like how to submit your payroll if you have 
deductions that are higher than the net pay. So click on the support button, you can reach them by email or phone. You can also contact them by clicking on the live chat button and you will be connected with a with support representative through the computer. In the next tutorial, we will go over how to enter your weekly payroll.